Hi everybody, Steph here. Today I'm going to bring you two Parker fountain pens which um, a lot of people actually get confused with the two particular models. First of all what we've got here is a Parker 180 fountain pen and then next to it here we have what we term as a Parker Classic fountain pen. Now first of all the Parker 180 fountain pen I believe was launched around about 1977 through to I believe about 1985. Um, this particular one if I actually show you the, the, the cap imprint I'm going to keep it nice and still and if I turn it round I'm hoping you can see it says Parker made in England and then also the letter UC which actually dates this particular pen 1981. Um, these particular pens came as cartridge converter pens. This particular one, if you can actually see, has got this lovely pattern um, and it's a floral etched pattern. Now, I'm not actually too sure what the, uh, the proper pronunciation for this pattern is, that what Parker actually called it. So if anybody knows, then maybe you could leave a comment. But all in all, a lovely pattern. This particular pen, um, the 180s were brought out in numerous different colours and designs, etc. Um, a lot of them were in what they term as the in a lack of finish. They brought out um, a brown tortoise shell, uh, I believe a jasper red, an absolutely gorgeous lapis la lazuli colour as well. Um, also brought out metal pens as, as this one and also um, in gold and silver plated designs um, just two of them being one being a basket weave design they also brought out a fine barley um, design pen um, and then I believe around about 1983 Parker discontinued the the lacquered um, the lacquered pens and then they brought out just standard coloured fountain pens in blue, green, red and also a matte black as well. Um, so that's the different designs etc. The size of this particular pen from the top of the cap to the bottom here is 133 millimetres capped. Around the diameter it's quite a, just a tad over 9 millimetres in diameter. Now if we take the cap off here, show you the pen and the cap together like that and we'll put the cap down and here we have the section as you can see it's got quite a long section um, and this section is actually it's what they term as this cross hatch it's got this cross hatch pattern um, to the section and again to the top of the section you'll notice it's got this um, chrome or silver ring just to the top now the first thing you'll notice is the nib here and it's got this triangular triangular nib to the top of the nib there you'll see it's got this um, if you like a metal a metal piece to give it rigidity and if I actually turn it over you'll see the feed underneath there like so and again I'm hoping you can catch it but you'll actually see that it actually says M for medium now the beauty of this particular pen and the design um, at the time was that you have one nib but you could actually write on both sides um, and hence that's where the name or the model number 180 came from that if you if you wrote sort of normally in this position um, and then turn the pen over 180 degrees you could actually write on the other side of the nib and I believe the nibs came in um, I think on one side being an extra fine and as this one being a medium as well um, also on one side you could have fine and I believe uh, broad on the other side okay so there's the nib I'm not too sure but I think maybe they did actually bring out these particular nibs in gold um, but as you can see there what we've got is a stainless steel nib there now the reason these two pens actually people get confused with them um, again little bit of history on this particular one the Parker Classic although the Parker Classics actually started off um, as ballpoint pens and pencils etc and again some of you people will notice the design to the top there looks like a ballpoint um, in I think it was approximately um, I can't remember actually when it was 
I think about 1986 I believe they introduced the fountain pen version of the classic now as I say it was actually the classics were actually out from 1967 and they went through to 1994 and as I say earlier there were pens sorry ballpoint pens and pencils but the fountain pen was introduced around about 1986 again this particular one you'll see um, it's this lovely sort of lapis um, lapis colour if you like okay if we just show you there and also I believe they also brought out again lots of different variations of this particular pen um, in, in different colours I believe they brought out uh, again sort of metal pens they may have actually brought out flighter editions as well and again to be quite honest with you too many to mention but if we if we take a look at the pen again you've got the the gold filled or the gold plated clip to the top there to the top there you've got this little stud which actually looks like the ballpoint studs and then to the bottom bottom there you've got this gold tassie there incidentally if we just show you both of the tassies on both pens and just show them you close up you'll notice that they're actually slightly winged to the tassies there and what that is for is that they actually Parker designed the pen like that so that it could actually you could actually post the cap on the end and it would actually just click into place and hopefully stop the the cap scratching the barrel so that's actually the de the reason for the design of the tassie there again you can see it sort of slightly it slightly juts out or this it's slightly winged so again if we put that to one side if we open the pen now we won't we'll open the pen up at this point but here we have the nib to the classic now you'll notice all of a sudden the difference that <coughs> first of all it's got this sort of black collar to the bottom of the nib this particular nib is a gold plated steel nib and if we turn it round there you can see it's got this collar and then the feed actually underneath underneath the pen there so let's show you the the nibs together oops a daisy so if I hold them up like that so that's the reason why these particular pens actually sometimes people confuse them then if we can actually sort of twirl it around like so and you can see that the similarity they're very very similar but again I believe um, in in the later years um, what well I, I believe about 1983 I think it, I read somewhere that Parker actually discontinued this this nib where you could actually write both sides and they brought out this particular nib here which in, in theory you could write just on on one side so 1983 I believe that's when they changed changed the nib so again if you look at the the feeds to both pens they both have this sort of cross hatch design so they're both very very similar um, to the top of the section there you'll notice they've both got this uh, little silver ring if you like so <coughs> excuse me so you can actually understand why people actually get confused with these two particular pens but the main difference being is the nibs there but saying that they're both these triangular nibs one we can write on both sides one just on one side so that's where the the confusion arises with both pens now let's try and show you the, what I mean by the pen writing on both sides so first of all what we'll do let's put the cap back on the Parker Classic so what we've got here is the 180 as I say it comes with a cartridge converter it's got a converter in at the moment so what we'll do we'll just simply dip it in very quickly I've come not very prepared okay so let's put the the barrel back on we'll move the ink to one side and bring on oops a daisy bring on our pad so what we're doing now this is the as I say the the Parker 180 fountain pen okay so what we're doing now we're actually writing with if you like the normal side and you can see 
it's actually a very very smooth writer but it's writing I would say well as it says on the nib with a medium line now if we actually turn the the nib well as the pen says 180 degrees and turn it to the other side there we go you can now see that the line is a fine line so in effect what you've got is one nib and two variations two variations of line if you like so to one side we've got the fine again if we turn it back to the normal and again what you've got there is a medium so to one side you've got a fine line and to the other a medium so you can see the two variations in lines that we've got there so that is the Parker 180 we're not going to show you the Parker Classic writing because it just writes if you like with a standard normal nib I just wanted to show you the um, what they mean by this particular 180 being one nib and two writing um, two writing angles or two writing well two ways of writing with it if you like so there we have it we've got the Parker Classic which is this one and again came out really they started um, with this particular pen originally it came as a ballpoint um, pencil etc from I believe was it 1967 and later as I said before it came out as a, as a fountain pen and this particular one as we said before is the Parker 180 so I'm hoping that'll help you sort of distinguish the difference between two of the pens if you get hold of one hopefully it'll help you um, recognize which is which okay so what we'll do we'll pop them down there so I hope you've enjoyed looking at these pens as much as I've enjoyed showing them to you don't forget plenty more videos go and take a look and uh, why not subscribe but for now I'll just say bye bye